pumpkins. Still the Halloween time of year. Oh, a new bucket! It must be a new episode. Well, hello everyone and welcome back to a new episode of Worst of the Best. I'm Brandon Pacheco and today we're gonna find some movie. But alas, it has returned. Torture device for the Malinade. A choose of two will choose your doom. It's time to pick from the bucket of misfortune. And John Foster, it's so good to see you. Come on in. Let's pick out a movie at random today. <laughs> What's in this coffee? It's terrible. So, John, what do you think about this Spider-Man blanket? Well, you know it's under it. Oh, that was our bucket. Hang on. Uh, it's our bucket. And this episode is a little bit different. We're going to pick movies, just videos, old videos from the internet, and possibly a safety video, I hope. Well, John, it's your pick. Let's go. Oh, my gosh. What's it say? What's it say? Seated exercise for elder adults. Seated exercise for elderly adults. All right, I can't wait. Let's go <laughs> watch it. So we're going to watch elderly. They're going to show us how to improve our bodies and exercise, which is always good. But before we do that, I found something before we were about to do this episode. Uh, a Pizza Hut commercial from 1965 has like emerged. Apparently it was on the internet about eight years ago, but I didn't ever see it until now. Uh, I seen the first few seconds of it, and this is kind of a different episode, you know, where we're doing like more or less like older ep like older videos and instructional videos, just to see do something a little bit different, and then we're going to maybe binge some Halloween movies of Michael Myers. <coughs> Evil dies tonight. Evil dies tonight. Along with that phone. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> At first, I didn't think it was going to have sound. Oh my gosh, a pedal car. When do you ever see them things anymore? Oh, Volkswagen. <laughs> this is like nonsense. But hey, you know, you, you gotta start somewhere. <laughs> he ran over someone's foot. That's great. Angry Mob. This might be like a little, you know, pre-tell to Halloween um, ends or something. I don't know what I'm talking about. I just know this looks like nonsense. Wait, did it come in paper? It didn't even come in a box. <laughs> Same footage. Back in the, uh... Oh, I was wondering what their sticker, that's the emblem? Wow, that was a little disappointing though. I thought that'd be more funnier. Now on to the elderly workout. I'm sure that's going to be really what? entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> so, seated exercise for older adults. Never hurts to watch things like this, so let's give it a shot. Okay, the first exercise is to strengthen your lower leg muscles in the front of your front of your lower leg. It's called toe raises. Toe and raises. so you're going to sit up We could technically be doing this. Keep your feet flat on the floor. Why is this in four by three? In the air as far as you can. Okay, now we'll count out ten repetitions. Oh my gosh! One. I I can't take it anymore. Two, Before five, this becomes too old for six, the audience. Seven. Let's do another draw. Eight exercise is to strengthen your quadriceps or thigh muscles. And if you have some cuff weights that you can wrap around your ankle and you feel uh, comfortable using these, you can you can use um, caterpillar weights. seven if deadly sins. Or it's too difficult now, to caterpillar. Wait, with now this and, does sound um, like a horror movie. Maybe it's well. another haunted so, movie after all. That was a little too exciting for me. 
but I do. I think this might could save the night. I'm not sure. We'll have to check this. Out. Oh my gosh, the cover looks incredible, <laughs> and it's 16 minutes runtime. We can't beat that. Oh wow. Oh, the caterpillar truck. That's coming out like in a scary font, like. Dee! Did they get John Carpenter to do the score? For real life situations executed by trained stunt professionals. None of them are safe to repeat. None of them are safe to repeat. Whoa! Oh no! Oh, oh gosh! We're okay. Whoa! Look out, lady! <clears throat> Yikes! He just drove off to that. <laughs> Wait, no. Who's gonna hit a wall as they're driving? Just the seven this deadly is sins. One of the most important safety issues Wait, in why is this British? Lift truck safety. Ah, uh, let's go. It. Let's watch it anyway. Not because many lift truck accidents start here, but because so many lift truck. I thought this said four. Lift trucks are safe pieces of. I guess lift truck they is a forklift and well built in the UK, so right? Gonna happen there are here. Lot more loads to go. Why bother lowering He's got like four pallets. Quicker this way. Why? Because an elevated load raises the center of Why? gravity on the truck. Did his voice change? And a higher center of gravity makes the truck much less stable. Especially when turning. Especially when turning. Oh! oh no! Ow! Dude! Ow! Look, the ambulance. It's like red looking. Didn't see number one. Number one. Don't drive with an elevated load. Do not. It's <laughs> what five pallets? Well be the most oh, he said not an elevated load. See, we are learning something. That way, if we do have to run a forklift in the studio, you're not gonna do that, right? <laughs> Is this Steve Carell's early film? Earliest thing? If you do, dude, no, -uh. oh no, dude, oh gosh, it's called the mouse trap. The mouse trap. Oh, how, how terrible. They're like showing all these different scenarios of this guy getting banged up or killed. He hung on it the second time. Which that just tipped it over f faster and killed him quicker. I'm not going to look at it, jerk off. Too busy trying to get laid and get paid. Look at this guy, he even just looks like trouble. He's like Edward Furlong or something. Yeah. My mom is Sarah Connor. I'm gonna lead to resistance one day in the future. Oh no, until I screwed this up. Darn it! But it isn't a perfect world. No, it? it's not. Golly, they are taking their sweet time about getting there, John. Don't drive with an unstable load. Take the time to secure the load before moving off. And yeah, don't be a dickhead with tattoos that just like overlooks it. Like this guy in the white shirt. See, he's doing the correct thing. Oh no, something intense gonna happen. This operator thinks stopping the truck and dismounting. He's like, <laughs> it's easier just to pull Look, he's whistling. And grab it on the move. But this jerk off's just whistling. No! Oh look, this is the guy that's gonna hold his hand out that we've seen in the in the intro. So he just like, you yeah, grab my thing on my route, man. Hey, I hear you. Those twelve hour shifts can do it to you. I've done it. You might get away with it once. You might get away with it once. Distraction could spell disaster. Hey man! Hey, what's up, man? Oh my gosh, see his hand! It's broke! Now the ambulance got there, conveniently for the explosion and conveniently for his arm that just got broke. Did they have foreknowledge of this incident? They're just Keep like, look, there's going to be a bunch of screw-ups. Oh, we made it to 7 one Keep your limbs inside and confined to the trucks. That was that guy's most angriest. 
He's like, I don't know how many times I've had to tell these blokes this. <laughs> Look, they got like green jumpsuits. The very first thing we watched was uh, a Pizza Hut ad from 1965. And I kind of snuck this into the episode because it wasn't really in the original format for us to do it. But I I seen three seconds of it and I was like, boy, this looks fun. It's a very, really weird, it's so weird. I've never seen anything like it before. And I've watched a bunch of like older ads. I've talked about watching older shows. I don't stray away from very uh, much that's vintage. So this was really interesting to watch. Nothing about this ad or, or old ad for uh, Pizza Hut gives it away that it's a Pizza Hut ad or anything. Because when you're seeing the guy like bumping into people, it's like they're showing like the sticker, but it's not like really great shots. It, it's not, it does not look like, uh, it don't look like a Pizza Hut commercial or any type of commercial for anything. It was a minute and nine seconds. But the thing of it was, it's just bizarre, angry mob. It reminded me of Halloween Kills all over again. I'm like, oh gosh, I'm getting Halloween Kills flashbacks. Because all we're seeing is this angry mob and they're just like wanting to get this guy in the pedal car. And he just was like, he's going like as if he's got an actual like motor or something on the car. And he's just like, just like racing past people and knocking them over. Just, it's nonsense. And then he like delivers the pizza along with the angry mob. And, uh, and then the commercial ends with, uh, the guy coming there with like pizza and like not even a box. It's just in like paper. And there, it looks, this video looks so, like, if you're worried about germs in 2021, you don't need to watch this video, because you'll be like, oh gosh, who was it all touching it? And just the coming out of paper just looks so, I don't know what they were doing back then with pizza, but it was comical. I highly encourage, if anyone can find this, this episode was kind of more or less like, what odd old videos can we find, and just what what's, what all is out there, so uh, I apologize for like this episode's format, or I want to blame it here on Spider-Man, I don't want to really give all myself to blame, but we did find some apple, we did find some good pumpkins in this bunch, I guess you could say, of terrible movies. Uh, or terrible thing videos to watch, and so uh, watch the Pizza 1965 commercial if you can find it on YouTube. Um, anyway, check it out. Moving on to the next feature, right, Spider Man? Moving on to the next thing we watched, which I gotta tell you, I'm not sure if this, uh, video was made for me and John. John and I watched um, Seated Exercise for Older Adults. It was nine minutes of, of someone who ADR'd. Uh, it's like, and be doing this right here and be sure. And it was like, and I know everyone in the comment section right now is gonna give me guff about Hey, you know, your microphone's and audio and always the best. And it's coming along. We're working on something slowly. But this audio was the worst. It, it was the sh like a PBS like uh, type of thing. It had that sh And it was as entertaining as it was. I just don't think it was for John and I. We watched, uh, I think, about two minutes of it. And... I almost started to fall asleep. We could have easily probably joined in. It was seated exercises, but we're, we're here to watch these movies, review them, and tell you what we think of them, videos, Spider-Man included. And yeah, this one it fell a little short. So I believe we're done talking about the elderly for one episode of as fascinating like I said as it was. You can catch it also on YouTube. A lot of this stuff was online, but the next one, uh, our last film, or our last thing that we got to watch was actually a full, it was 16 minute runtime. I keep looking at him as if he is John, so I imagine we'll just like, 
Photoshop him in there. And that, there we go. But what we watched next was even more incredible. Was the the seven deadly sins for forklift safety. I had to write all these titles down because they almost didn't feel like titles. I was like, wait a minute. And right away, I could tell again that this wasn't for me and John, but it was a little fascinating. And it wasn't one of these. And I was so excited. It wasn't one of those, you know joke where they like dub the people's voices which i do love those occasionally but for once this was like the real deal only i was a little thrown off because we're in the uk uh the narration for this was very interesting we had uh the uk robert stack why because an elevated load raises the center why? of gravity on a truck did his voice change and a higher center of gravity makes the truck much less stable Especially when turning. Especially when turning. Oh! oh no. Who was pretty much just as scary as uh, U.S. Robert Stack. It was pretty much a common sense video. The intro was pretty amazing. And they waited on this to like show the greater stuff for later. We'll get to that. But there was an explosion. I loved it. It was one, we got one explosion and I was like, oh, we need more. But that was enough to hold my attention because I did replay the explosion. My point is, my point being, this needed more explosions. Would, would that have been the most safety thing, safe thing? I don't know. Uh, the Seven Deadly Sins for Forklift Safety is the Citizen Kane of movies that we got to watch tonight. It's entertaining. And best of all, I enjoyed the explosions. And it didn't have a bunch of elderly people. It's about, you know, the basic things you do at a factory uh, job around forklifts and other, you know, strong and other, you know, uh, equipment. And basically, it's a bunch of people in the UK just reckless, screwing around, not following simple instructions. The guy, the narrator, he sounds like he has gave out instructions way too much on all this crap. And he's fed up with work injuries in the workplace. And gosh darn it, you're going to listen to this man. And I didn't mind. He said, he's like, don't slack on your job. And, and, and it was just pretty much basic, you know, don't screw off on your job. And what made me laugh at the, you know, one part of the job. And, and, and it's weird that you get this one side, it's like full of statistics. It's like, we're going to talk about the seven deadly sins, the seven number one big things that can happen. Although there is about 200 things that can happen, but although let's leave out the 193 and only talk about the seven, because that's all we feel like talking about in this video, which is fine, but I, will, I guess we'll get to like the rest of it. It didn't say if this was a part one or part two. It was and they had two scenarios on how a forklift could like fall over and the one the second one the guy is hanging on to the forklift is like you know gravity doesn't work anymore and just threw out the laws of gravity let's hang on to it and just like <laughs> then it falls there like you and you definitely don't want this to happen to you and it's like yeah but the best part, though, there's, like, so many funny... I wrote down a couple of funny things that he said, even though we just literally watched it. I mean, the Seven Deadly Sins, we can talk about the Pizza Hut ad. That was fun. We can talk about elderly people working out, and that yeah. might be entertaining to watch all day. But it gets old at a certain point. But the thing of it is, is, you know, you find something, like, the seven deadly sins of forklift safety and it truly is a masterpiece through and through uh and we watched the whole thing not spider-man and i but john and i and it was great all um except the pacing like i said i think could have been a little bit better the explosion was the very last part and literally and figuratively blew us away well i guess it uh, literally blew that guy away it figuratively blew us away. Uh, I was charmed by this, actually. I think this m was probably shelved. That, or maybe it was used for some type of educational thing over there in the UK. I don't know. 
Uh, the seven deadly sins. I mean, sure, you know, the pizza guy being a jerk and knocking pe people over, you know, like, driving around. That was, like, really fun to watch. Like, sped up and everything. So, if it wasn't for that jerk off knocking people over and the, the footage being all grainy and terrible, I would have probably picked that. But, uh, I think the winner, obviously, is the seven deadly sins forklift safety. Uh, but definitely, I liked the, I liked that movie. You know, it's funny, I'm over here sitting here thinking about all this, like, we watched this, and Dune is out right now, so that might be another thing to watch, review, comment down here about David Lynch, hashtag Dune, hashtag David Lynch, hashtag, don't watch it on a cell phone. Also, before we end the review... And before I lose my voice, let me end the review on this. I want to do, um, I looked recently in the comments and, uh, seen that people are like, maybe do Halloween, go back and watch them. And I got them all on Peacock. So, hey, I might do this. I might actually check them out. But comment down below and tell me where to start. Do I start with 78, 95? There's been a whole bunch of them. So why not check them all out? Even though we're at the end of October, I got them. So if anyone wants me to watch them, let me know on the comment section. Comment uh, Halloween, Michael Myers. Watch A, B, and C or 1, 2, and 3. You, you know, name them all for me so I know which ones to review first. And also, hashtag Dune, hashtag David Lynch. Stay tuned for maybe Dune. Oh, that rhymed. Stay tuned for Halloween reviews coming soon. All right, thanks. K okay, bye. So be careful out there. Oh, caterpillar safety. So, wow, that was a good movie. Out of all the three tonight, what was your favorite? Now, if you're playing the movie on a telephone, you will never in a trillion years experience the film. You'll think you have experienced it, but you'll be <clears throat> cheated. It's a, such a sadness that you think you've seen a film on your fucking telephone. Get real. <laughs>